What is up guys, welcome to the channel, my name is Brad and if you're a fan of 80s and 90s nostalgia, retro and video game hunting and a little bit of resale, this is the channel for you so smash that subscribe button. Now in this video I want to take you back to 2020 when I got the green light to turn my garage into a games room. Cast your minds back to 2020. Life as we know it has completely changed. We were told to stay at home, not to go out. We had to keep ourselves busy and keep ourselves entertained. And it was at this time that the wife gave me the green light to turn the garage into a games room. Now, I've been wanting to do it for ages and never had the time, but now I had an abundance of time, so I got crag in. I took the garage door off, put a window and a door in there, blocked it up. I uh, ran cable in, I insulated, I plasterboarded, I plastered, I painted, I furnished, and then I filled it full of all my favorite things. Let's take a look. So here it is in all its glory. It's not massive, but I absolutely love it. Uh, here you've got the TV and my consoles, you've got the PS5, the N64, the Super Nintendo Mini, the uh, Wii, Xbox One, PS2 and a PS1 and all my collectibles are over there. Let's take a closer look. So we'll start up here with my board games, not that I have any friends to play them with but they're cool nevertheless. I've got the D&D set here, I'd love to play uh, Stranger Things, it's got me on the D&D hype but I've just not uh, played it yet. Let's move along, got Rey Mysterio Mask. Masters of the Universe, Revelation, Figures of He-Man, Skeletor. We're moving down. We've got the PS4 and PS5 collection. Pretty small. It is building all the time. My PS5 collection is pretty minor. I am playing Alan Wake at the moment. We move along to the Assassin's Creed shelf. All the games and books. Now, I absolutely fell in love with the franchise when it first came out. But it has, to be honest, fallen to the wayside a little bit. I do still enjoy the games. Moving down, we've got this cool tiger handheld I had from the wife for Christmas. It's not uh, an original from the uh, 80s and 90s, but it's cool nevertheless. A little bit of miscellaneous stuff here. With the game uh, Game Boy Collection, which I am growing. It's pretty small at the minute. Some uh, titles in here. Let's have a look. It's probably one of my favourite games right here. TMNT, uh, Fall of the Foot Clan. Let's move along, we've got the TMNT stuff, got all the movies, got some of the cartoons, currently trying to put together all the uh, live action series, if you've ever seen that. Got the NES game there, got this uh, He-Man um, box set from my brother also, some other cartoons from the 80s and 90s. I've got some of my N64 collection, which is pretty minor at the moment. I do have a few box games, got Duke Nukem, Star Wars Racer, Episode 1 Racer, and uh, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Pokemon Stadium, shout out Pokemon Stadium. If you know, you know the transfer pack. And we've got Human man in the box there. My PS3 collection is pretty tiny, but I am collecting all the time, so that will grow as we go forward. Some Star Wars figures with my fantasy DVD collection here. Absolutely love Willow. Looking forward to the TV series when it comes out. My PS2 collection, it's not massive again, but I'm always growing this one. I seem to pick up PS2 games more than anything else. I've got some titles in there, Time Crisis. Got the Grand Theft Autos, got Def Jam Vendetta, some absolute bangers in there. Moving along, we've got the Harry Potter books, Game of Thrones books, some miscellaneous stuff down here, the Pop Finals, Walking Dead. I've got my Goosebump collection here, which I'm trying to grow. It's not massive at the moment, but I want to get all of the original uh, books at some point. Some more books, some graphic novels and books here, and some miscellaneous stuff here. Got some Xbox One games, but I'm not a big fan of the Xbox, if I'm honest. DVDs down here, nothing to write home about, just stuff we've accumulated over the years. Some Toy Story stuff here. This is a Lego man I actually built in lockdown. I'm pretty proud of him. You know, I was very bored, so I uh, was trying to keep myself busy. Built this Lego dude. Moving on down here is the consoles. Got the PS1 here, looking kind of old and faded. The Xbox One, the PS2, the controllers up there. The Wii and the NES Mini, Super NES Mini, sorry. The N64 and the PS5. And this is where I sit back and chill. And I play the PlayStation or whatever I'm playing at the time. And yeah, and I absolutely love it. So there you are, guys. That was a tour of the games room. Didn't take long. It's not a massive space, but it's perfect for me. Now, guys, if you want to follow me as I go out retro and video game hunting, smash the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you do not miss a video. Please comment below if you like my collection, if I should add some stuff to my collection, or if I'm an absolute bell end for collecting it. Please let me know in the comments. I want to know. And I'm going to kick back now with a little bit of Zelda, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.